Hello. We are going to introduce Melodious Double Stocks by Josephine Trott. I believe it's a really good way of starting to work on double stocks, which always needs extra help. Even if you are at the highest level, double stocks are quite tricky. So we start in a very easy way. The first eight numbers, they all have either one string or the other as going to be open string, which means no fingers on it. So the finger we're going to put is going to be on only one of the two strings. So for example, at the beginning of the first one, we have no, no fingers, then one on D, but the G is still by itself. And then the same thing on the second bar, two on G, but D, it's free. So we need to make sure that we always keep the, the string that is not being played with the finger clear from any fingers so that we can hear the D string when we play both of them or the G string for example if it's not touching if it's touching then it will stop the sound so the best way to work on that is we work out the fingers and then we try to play the whole thing with the fingers but the bow is only going to play one of the two strings so we're going to start with playing only the top of the two strings so for example the beginning the first bar is just the D string and then we put 2 and G but we don't play it, we only play the D string and then we go to the A Same thing, but with the bottom string. Sorry. Two. It's quite tricky for the brain at the beginning, so it will take some time. So just slowly do it. Um, Make sure your violin's in tune. Because if it's not in tune, it will be quite difficult to play the double stops in tune. And then the other thing we need to make sure is that when we play two strings, the bow is balanced between the two strings. And it doesn't have to be loud. It can be soft or loud. You can see in this first exercise, it's got metal forte, forte, piano, and then forte, and then piano again. So you can play different dynamics playing two strings at once. You don't have to press down because of two strings. Just imagine there's a string in between the two strings, and that's where you need to balance the bow. Right, we're gonna play, I'm gonna play number one, number two, and number three now, so you can hear how they sound. The other thing with our stops is making sure that it's in tune. So for example, the beginning of number two, we have an octave. Making sure that that sounds completely in tune. Being in ringing notes. Then the next, for example, is a one on A. You can find that moment where it's exactly in tune. So it's going to be like this.
third grade. We're going to D minor, so... Just to get that in your ear, maybe play the D minor scale. Again. Try to find each one of them separately, so they sound exactly the same. And then once you've done that, we can play the whole thing. <laughs> 